Hello and welcome to Dr. Peck Plays Theme Hospital, sort of. Uh, welcome to the city of Frampton-on-Sea. Uh, hospital of the city of Frampton-on-Sea. Um, where the briefing is. Keep all your patients happy, deal with them as efficiently as you can and keep deaths to an absolute minimum. Thank you, game. <laughs> your reputation is at stake, so make sure you guess it as high as possible. Don't worry too much about money. That'll come later as your vital reputation grows. You'll be able to train doctors to widen their abilities too. That's excellent. I'll talk more about that later. But training doctors is fantastic. I couldn't, uh, I can't support it enough. Uh, anyway, uh, you, they could very well be dealing with patients who seem less opaque than most. Hmm, how cryptic. Achieve a reputation of over 500. Well, that doesn't sound very difficult. So here we go. Uh, research department. Uh, the number of desks in the filing cabinets is how many researchers you can fit into the research department at any one time. Just in case you were wondering. Or didn't know already, or could not just guess, I guess. Uh, can I fit radiator in? And um, what about plant? Can I plant? Plant? Yes? No? Yes? No! Oh, never mind. No bin either. And crucially, no researcher. Hmm. Well, that's a bit of a blow, isn't it? Well, I have to wait until next month and see what they can give me. Uh, drug research is pretty important. I'm going to set it 50-50 with cure. Diagnosis can go elsewhere for the time being. I'll give it a token 1%. So it's going to be a change of plan while I wait for some, uh, what do you call them, researchers to enter the labour pool. I'll put this into uh, slow speed setting, so it's a bit, it feels a bit more traditional. Actually, no, I'm not happy with the size. I can't place another, another room there, so maybe I'll make it a bit bigger, you know, make the uh, doctor feel at home. It's wasted space, but you know, it's, it's a psychological thing, isn't it? Psychology, isn't it? So, I need to hire a handyman. I also need to hire some doctors. You didn't, you didn't mention that at any point. For all I know, I could have been... I'll put a surgeon in. Uh, oh wait, no, I want a second GP's office, because that's always, always a good idea. Stick that around like that. Get out of the way. Um, I forgot which way he goes around to pick up the files. It's that way, isn't it? Yeah. Fire extinguisher, blah, blah, blah. Maybe they didn't have enough uh, fire extinguishers in the last hospital. No, I'm thinking about something different. No, that's not right at all. So, two GPs office, uh, offices, one GP. Uh, general diagnosis. It's a bit big, isn't it? Let's stick that in there and put plenty of windows in so that everyone can see what's going on. And the rest, screen, crash trolley, blah, blah, blah. Uh, psychiatric department, even though we've not got the staff for it yet. I might put it like that. Yeah, I'm starting to get some corridors now. I feel I feel good about the sort of the corridor placement. When uh, when they sort of reach the critical mass of this episode, where it's just merely a case of waiting, I might uh, I might go around and make the corridors um, the right size. 
I'm thinking, yeah, two squares across, that allows for some benches one size. Well, I would hire a doctor with psychiatric abilities or psychic abilities, but there's none available, so, you know, go elsewhere. 31st. First of the month! Woo! What have you got for me? Two researchers. That'll do. In fact, this is a good haul. This is two researchers, psychiatrist, another surgeon. No consultants yet, but you know, whatever. So let's have some toilets here. Yes, that works. Uh, lots of windows because I can. And that, get that handyman out of the way. Chew! Get out of it. New shunt of hiding. Nothing but trouble. Five toilets, two sinks. Oh, so efficient to cut fit a radiator in. Lovely. Well, there's just going to be uh, some cold toilet seats, that's all I can say. Staff room here. Let's put that across there like that. And make it a little bit, bit, uh, little bit bigger. I'm uh, feeling generous. Uh, four sofas, two pool tables and a TV. But multiple TVs, TVs in, but... Must be a bit confusing, you know, they'll all be playing different channels, such like. Only three sofas. I mean, there's a TV. There, no plant, and... No radiator either. Oh, well, it looks to be you. <clears throat> Don't worry about training right now. I've not got a consultant, so it's a little bit pointless. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll explain later. But then again, I'm assuming if you're watching a Let's Play on Theme Hospital, you may have played Theme Hospital at some point. Then again, you might be doing it as like just to just to give yourself a feel as to what uh, what the game's like. I don't know. I've sometimes watched Let's Plays to games I've never played, so. Not beyond the realm of possibility. It's just a little odd, but then so am I. I never then went on to buy the game, I don't think. The best nurses we can get. Hmm. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm kind of killing time now, but if I was doing it properly, I would have uh, turned the speed up. Uh, Strange. No, this looks all right. This does. It's a bit bench heavy, but it's fine by me. A few benches outside the toilets. A couple of drinks machines, maybe. I'm happy with the way that looks. I'll take that out and put a couple of plants in. There it is. As you're walking into the hospital, very nice. Have my research team discovered anything yet? It's better. Nothing yet. Slicer. I thought I discovered that last time around. So what have we got available? I can build an operating theatre straight away. I've also got two surgeons for it, so whoopee. I think I might put a ward there.
Yeah. Yeah, ward there. And everyone can get out. Go on. I'm waiting for the staff to leave the blueprint area. And then I'm free to build a uh, operating theatre anywhere, really. Now here's something you couldn't do in the original theme hospital, is stack the beds like that. Not that it really helps me because now I can't place the desk, but... Never mind. Yeah, in the original you had to place them next to a wall. That can't possibly work as an arrangement. That looks ridiculous. Oh well. Thank you, Mrs. Receptionist. That's uh, that's the right the right attitude to take. Patients are reminded to keep their checkbooks ready or something similar. Squits drug. Don't care about squits drug. What have we got? Oh, it's too late, the hospital's opening. Sleeping illness drug. Cast remover. Well, that's, that's always useful. And it's useful because it requires a nurse rather than doctors. So it's cheaper to run. It's got, um, yeah, paid less. Handymen are paid less than them. I think handymen are paid at the same rate as receptionists are. The doctors are paid most, and nurses, and handymen. Oh, I suppose that's just the way of the world. Yeah, I'm happy with how that hospital looks. It's just a shame we can't treat anybody. There's been an incident at Big Day's funeral parlour and off licence. And there they are, there they come. Two gentlemen wearing hats. It's a nice little hospital, it's kind of running itself. Just cured my first patient. Woo! I didn't kill my first patient. Hey! Good times. A nice little uh, boost there. Corrugated ankles, that goes straight to the pharmacy. Oh, first problems here already. I don't know what the diagnostic rooms can I build. None. See ya. It looks like he's got a fractured ankle, but who knows? Finding a convenient place to die, that'll do. Oh, this is a thoughtful of it. Oh dear. Well, that wasn't a very good 10 seconds, but. Whoa, that wasn't a good 10 seconds either. It just. How much did the wages cost me? 1385 a month. Heaped piles, I'm happy with them. Well. Happy with that patient having them so we can charge it. I wouldn't be happy with these files. And now there's somebody with bloated heads, so now I've got to invest in a um, an inflation clinic. Kidney beans. Right. That'll do. Take out a loan. We'll build an operating theatre, which uh, two stations will be required in. There are plenty of windows so everyone can see what's going on inside. Could, uh, we could sell spectators tickets. Mm. Uh, that there, that there, there, there and there. I don't think it's quite hygienic to have plants in the bin in an operating theatre. Uh, clinics, inflation can go there. An inflation clinic, it sounds something uh, economic, doesn't economical, doesn't it? <coughs> and economical in the sense of being about economics as opposed to being, I don't know, money savvy. 
often the two are uh, vastly disparate. I may as well mess with the slack tongue clinic. You see, I pre uh, preempted that. That's uh, smart thinking, that is. I have that was just playing the game too much. How about that? I didn't even know there was a slack tongue patient there. I just. It was instinct, I'd say. I just played this game so much, I just know what's going to happen. Now, if I build that. No, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build that small one like that. Put that there. Take out of the loan. Just just because. Why not? Move the pharmacy to here. Hmm, that doesn't look as neat as I wanted to. Have to work on that. Very nice. There we go. That's more like it. Life's not necessary, but well, that looks good. I'm going to hire another handyman. You're good. You're hired. Rocky Runny Jepson has expressed a wish to visit your hospital. I. Have no idea who that is. Never mind. Come on in. Plenty of benches down. Three, four, five, and a break. I've not finished yet. Drinks machine there and the drinks machine there. That is, I like that, I'm impressed with that. That's a psychic, I mean psychiatrist. Uh, consultant surgeon. Why are you wasting around in general diagnosis? Oh, another researcher. Get just a general consultant in. Because uh, I might stick a training room in here. I don't usually build training rooms this small, but hopefully it won't adversely affect stuff. So I'm... Oh wait, you're not the man I'm looking for. Is it me you're looking for? No. Where's the consultants I just hired? I just hired him, so there we go. So let's take a break from research while we turn up our researchers. And what they do is they sit here patiently and their skill level increases. I don't think it fills up very quickly because it's a small room. Consultant researcher, off you go. And now the staff started to get unhappy. Yeah, the downside with training is that um, it takes a long time in a small room. That's not the problem with training. The, training, the problem with training is that the higher qualified your doctors are, the more they want getting paid. So you have to keep a closer eye on happiness levels. Talking of happiness levels, I'm not happy with how slow this training is going. Yeah. Well, I'm not happy with that at all. But I don't really want to uh, spend lots of money. Did my bank balance just go down a lot just then? 
No, just imagined it. For some reason I thought it said eleven thousand pounds. Sorry, dollars. I mean, that's slowly going up, but I think I've seen it go faster than that before. Oh well. There's a 78% chance we have identified the attack, uh, attack of King Kong complex the patient has. Oh, yeah. Um, there's not much we can do about it. Sorry. Maybe if you research some more diagnosis equipment. I'm an idiot. Absolute fool. Because it's not so uh, like relative to. If you don't set the percentage rise to 100%, it doesn't research 100%. Oh, can I take him to the research department? Actually, no, I've got to watch the reputation in this one. If it falls below a certain level, I'll lose the game. Oh well. Don't think I have to worry about money though. Oh wait, yes I do. My staff are useless. You see, you lose you lose points for sending lose reputation points for sending patients home. I can cure everyone, just got diagnosing. I also need another one nurse. There we go. Rocky Ronnie Jepson remarked, Now that's what I call a hospital. Uh, but there was a cash grant of 2000 and a boost in the, in the community. Quite a sizeable boost, I believe it's something along the lines of 20. Hmm. People are cold. Well, you're not supposed to be called people in hospital. Uh, I don't know what kind of slack tongue this is. Fine, go home. We'll call you when we're done. There's a doctor missing. Get back in there. You're practically a consultant, see? Now get in there and research me some stuff. You take a break. I tell you what, I'm fed up of sending people home. Have a raise. I knew why not. You're a consultant surgeon. You're a regular surgeon. Hmm, I might train you two up then. When my consultant's feeling better. Poor people are sleeping on us and from Big Dave's funeral parlour. That sounds like a dangerous place. Consultants. You're a regular psychiatrist. There you go. Doctors have become a consultant. That was quick. Okay, who's not a consultant? Have some money. Have a pay rise. I've only got one fellow who's not a consultant, he's in training to become one. Oh, that's a long way to travel to uh, the pharmacy. Ooh, are we here through here? Oh. Your hospital is failing to give effective cures to patients who need them. Concentrating your cures in order to make them more effective. Lose 3,000. Cash. Well, how am I supposed to invest in that if you're taking money away? 
A low number of deaths at your hospital? This is great. Hearty oh, congratulations on achieving impressive cures to death ratio this year. Great. Plus six reputation for pleasing every VIP who visited. Six thousand and two thousand. There's a sound I'll never get to tired of. Inflation rate of four point five percent and interest rate of four percent. It's quite high interest rate. Quite high inflation rate as well, actually. Only two percent is about the uh, about the right amount, isn't it? Right, so everyone's a consultant now. We've got no junior doctors whatsoever. Ah, X-ray. Hmm. I suppose we've got to put it somewhere. I don't want to, it's just so beautifully arranged. I can go to the toilet. Gifted. To be honest, I don't really need a research department now, I don't know why I'm building it. Something to do, I suppose. And there's your two desks. And a computer. That's, that's, uh, that's what this game thinks computers look like. When is this game supposed to be set? I mean, look at the size of that thing. I believe by the year 2000, computers will be <laughs> will be 20 times as large, twice as powerful, and so expensive only the five richest kings of Europe will be able to afford them. Nine. <laughs>